welcome welcome to today's video today we're talking about seeing yourself and I would say this is essential if you've decided you want to heal you want to heal yourself and in general actually if you want to understand life if you want to understand why you came here what you came here to do what your purpose is if you're ready to ask yourself these questions and what comes hand in hand with seeing yourself is making yourself a priority and this will be something all along the self-healing journey you're gonna be have to learning you have uh, you're gonna be learning how to make yourself a priority and how to understand that you came here to see yourself you came here to understand your worth you came here to allow yourself to live the good and the bad and through this to learn that you came here to be here for yourself and find the love for yourself and free yourself from things allow yourself to free yourself allow yourself to give yourself freedom and all of this will at some point be clear that it starts with you or maybe not in this life experience maybe in another one but throughout the first phase until we realize that we only have one life here and until we start question starting asking the oh today it's wild it's a lot of downloads a lot of channeling it's very important this message so I'm gonna s try to slow it a bit and concentrate it and channel it through into the words and so uh, yeah until you're seeing as things happening to you and the world um, not understanding you and harming you or whatever is out there that it affects you you might not be ready to take over the full responsibility over yourself and to admit to yourself that you're creating your reality you're creating your pain and at that point of liberation and of understanding and of beginning to um, allow that connection because the universal connection to all and to all the answers and to all the knowing is always there it's always present but until some time in this timeline or um, this life experience you might have not been able to understand it fully you might have not been able to become aware of that universal connection that gives you the answers that allows you to see why you're creating pain in your body why you're creating suffering in your life why you need it in order to learn and at that point of understanding that you didn't come here to suffer that's the beginning of the liberation where you can start understanding that you came here to learn about yourself you came here to see yourself you came here to save yourself and no one else came here to do that but you came here to do that so this is sometimes a misunderstanding what we can well where we can sometimes feel lost or where we can feel like others aren't gonna save us like why aren't they saving us why aren't they gonna help us why don't they care about us but this will only be the reflection until you don't care about yourself and if you're experiencing intense amounts of physical chronic pain you don't care about yourself enough you don't care about how you're feeling you don't care about how you're um, experiencing this life 
you don't care about your boundaries you don't care about your worth and seeing yourself is a part of that learning journey of learning what kind of boundaries do i need right now what do i need right now what are my needs and reconnecting with yourself with your body because often what we're chasing isn't actually at all in the plan and then we over and over disappoint ourselves often what we think we want to achieve and what we think we want comes from a place of uncomfortableness disharmony non-alignment and only coming back to that alignment we can figure out what it is we actually want what's ours not what we want because of others because of what we believed we should want what we believe is should be possible for us but if it's not yours you're gonna be missing it and you're gonna be exhausting so much of your energy you're gonna be finding yourself constantly tired constantly exhausted of the process you're getting there but you can come to alignment and to that dream life and to that having everything you actually want only from alignment only from understanding wow i thought i wanted that i seriously thought but it was actually the ego who wanted me to feel some sort of power and i thought that by achieving that i will have that power but the opposite is the truth you can only empower yourself today to then manifest what you want from that power and you're the only one who can give yourself that power it's not gonna come through achieving something the achievement is also an illusion because we came here to experience and learn things are happening for them to be happening things are happening on its own it's just all happening and you can choose if you're gonna be becoming the victim at certain situations if you're gonna be chasing what you think you want if you're gonna be allowing it to come to your reality just receiving it or how you're gonna be learning and how you're gonna be basically suffering yourself through or easing yourself through into the flow because the things are already set to happen one way or another and we can influence seemingly how fast they will happen for us by coming back to ourselves and by acknowledging the feeling because what only spreads the pain and the uncomfortableness and the feeling into our lives and into the timeline basically into a longer period of time than one instant of the now is our grasping to it and are not being able to let go and are not being able to accept and are not being able to receive this is what drags basically the punishment longer okay ours not getting it and sometimes it's okay sometimes we need that experience sometimes we need to suffer a little more (laughs) in order to understand and slowly it becomes only your choice of where you're gonna allow it to go until where you're gonna allow Um, that pain to go or how you're going to be working on preventing it how you're going to be working on easing it because any of aspect of our life is energy and an illusion okay the relationships the money the abundance the health all of that is an illusion we can choose the perspective from which we see the things or we can be in them, in the flow. We can allow ourselves to experience them. 
and how hard or how easy it's going to be for us to experience them and then basically to attract them because by attracting we actually mean seeing them they're always here abundance is always present but it's your choice of how you're perceiving it either you're perceiving it with judgment with separation as saying that's for them that's not for me and we usually um, introduce this with some kind of resentment like they're worse because they have what I actually inside want but we surround ourselves with the judgment for easing it for easing the non allowing it to ourselves for for basically argumenting the lie the story we're telling ourselves so whatever the story there is you're telling yourselves that is the manifestation that's what becomes the reality and only through coming back to yourself and seeing yourself and actually learning about yourself and learning how to put yourself on the first place maybe making yourself the priority for the first time and understanding that whatever comes up from that overstimulated nervous system from from that overstressed um, being of yours is an illusion and allowing the fear to flow through because what happens if I put myself first for the first time well all of those stories are gonna contradict what I'm doing all of the stories of I have to please others I have to be there for others I'm responsible for others will start falling apart and that's an uncomfortable transformation but allowing ourselves to accept ourselves even with that fear of disappointing ourselves we talked about this in another video disappointing others these are all we came here to learn we didn't come here to have what we want without the all there's never only gonna be the seemingly easy and good side of the things because that's not the all that's only you choosing to see that polarity so that's why a person can see something absolutely tragic from a good perspective because they have reached that understanding that every single aspect of our lives is in the core neutral and we choose which polarity we see so you choose what you want to see about yourself because only seeing the bad or only seeing the, the good about yourself is always going to be a lie because you're both you're capable of good and of bad you're hurt and you heal you support and you don't support yourself and others you're all at the end of the day you're all of these things and with denying any aspect of us with denying well that doesn't concern me what I see in others there comes the co uncomfortableness there comes the separation in any form of perfectionism in any form of basically judgment to others or to ourselves comes the separation and the uncomfortableness comes with it the pain comes with it the pain comes with that separation so the self-healing journey isn't about convincing yourself about how amazing you are that you love all the good things about you because that wouldn't work in the case of some sort of hard situation seemingly or some sort of um, new emotion coming in or some sort of bad emotion okay the self-healing journey is about getting to know yourself and making mistakes making mistakes in how you behave towards yourself and then that resonates in how you behave in uh, towards others okay so it's always gonna be about 
seeing what you're able to survive and what's the next step and how you can ease your life, how you can simplify your life. Okay, if we came here and everything was resolved, then there wouldn't be a certain experience, right? And we can, we can spend uh, this life in meditation in the state of neutrality. We can, and we can achieve it faster or later throughout the life. That's according to our own individual time plans we've arranged for ourselves before coming here. But definitely seeing yourself and understanding what that means and making yourself a priority and understanding that only by making yourself a your priority, you can give at the end of the day yourself that satisfaction you're seeking for. Because at the end of the day, it's that self-worth, that self-confidence, that self-awareness that self-satisfaction you're seeking for, that self-love, it's not what you want from others. You actually don't want others to give you um, what you only can give yourself because until we believe that, we're stuck in that illusion. We're stuck in limiting ourselves to thinking, what we have is defined by someone else and what we can have is defined by someone else. We have no, basically, um, decision over it. We have no force over it. But we have to understand that without our force, there wouldn't be our life experience. We wouldn't be experiencing life if we weren't here. Therefore, we must affect everything in our lives. We are the only ones who can and who can give ourselves what we're looking for and who can give ourselves that sense of achievement. Because no matter how many things you're going to achieve, until you give yourself that valuation, that worthiness, that achievement, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for the next step or that's okay, that's enough for me, that's good enough, I've achieved what I wanted, nothing else. With that comes more achievement, with that you attract achievement by giving yourself that medal for what you survive, by giving yourself that approval, okay, I'm ready, I'm, I'm always ready, I'm always ready for more, for more of myself, I can always receive and then maybe I take a step back reevaluate am I ready this is wild there's a lot of transformation feeling a lot of things but whenever we're feeling something there is some kind of healing and some process happening especially when we think there isn't and this comes to chronic pain when it starts arising usually it's going to be resentment usually it's going to be um some sort of suppression is going to be that first reaction. I don't want it. Pain, I don't want it. Pain, I don't want it. But we must learn how to invite that pain and make that space and time to see it. Make that space to stop and understand, oh, my potential, it's calling me. <gasps> what is it here to tell me? Because always the pain invites you to simplify your life. The pain is the shortest way to get where you want to be. But usually we try to go over the pain, to go with the ego to where we want to be. Because we're sure the ego is very strong and likes to make realistic stories, realistic scenarios. It's, it's had a lot of time to train. And it likes to convince us that if we get, if we just suppress the pain and go to where we want to be, then we're going to be happy. Then we're going to be satisfied. Then we're going to feel what we want to feel, the worthiness or whatever it is. But honestly, if you look back, is that true? Did you achieve with achieving what you wanted to achieve? Did you also achieve all of 
those feelings of that worthiness that you thought you were doing it like after i've done this i've made it <laughs> probably not and so we have infinite possibilities and infinite um tries basically we can try infinite uh, amounts of times and the good thing about pain a chronic physical pain it's always gonna be here for us the enclosed potential is always gonna be here for us waiting when we're ready it's either gonna be growing so much if you're like very separating yourself from yourself if you're just heading the wrong path, it's going to be increasing. The pain is going to scream louder and louder. Or it's going to be gently reminding you how to balance the path of where you're going. And especially if we feel like maybe we've slowed down so much. We we are here for ourselves so much. We're working with our inner child. We're working with our emotions. We're working with our energy and maybe even we're getting exhausted with and overwhelmed with all the things we're working on on healing ourselves and the pain maybe arises again and the pain maybe is here again well that's another invitation always the pain is a sign that it's possible to have it even easier to have an even easier life to have even easier receiving to do even less and be even more always 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 the pain is here to remind us of it of this as much as we don't want to hear it because we always feel like well that's good enough now i can do because we, we've become comfortable with doing we've bef become comfortable with listening to the ego and doing 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 tiring ourselves exhausting ourselves because that gives us we've been so used to it that that gives us that some sort of satisfaction we can see the results we can actually see after cleaning the dishes i've achieved something but the pain is always going to come up to remind us maybe there's another way maybe the way you've been stuck in the routines can be eased even more maybe you can be even nicer to yourself maybe you can have even more compassion with yourself maybe you can have more understanding with yourself maybe you can be the first one to give sympathy to yourself maybe you can be the first one to give understanding to yourself and you for sure are the only one who will allow you to do what you want to do to just be, to not work for the day, to not work for many days, to not work for at all, to rest, to not need anymore, because need has become in the times of um, stuff. I would say we're in the times of stuff. There's just, we're surrounded with stuff. What's the next thing? Add that to the basket. And by that and by that it's become so easy to get stuff and it's become a strong form of simulation um, stimulation for our nervous system the stuff the amount of stuff we can have and allowing yourself to not need things people pain emotions whatever just not need for a second of the day just to be there and not need anything. Where was the last time you didn't actually need anything? You didn't need that caffeine hit. You didn't need. But the way of achieving that, it's never going to be the same way we think we're going to achieve everything. It's like suppressing ourselves and forcing ourselves out of that need, out of that addiction, whatever it might be. It will never be sustainable. It's the same way as suppressing the pain with a quick fix will never be sustainable. The self-healing journey is a long-term journey. Now it will be about allowing yourselves to not know how to do it for a segment of your life. 
allowing yourselves to not know where you're heading for a segment of your life because we see it so immediately we see like we need to figure it out now 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 okay but for many years until now you've programmed yourself to not know to go over yourself to not listen to yourself to need things to um, constantly achieve and and look for the answers outside and now we want to switch to the self-healing journey okay i'm going to heal myself easy peasy i'm going to connect with myself easy peasy but no it's about build, rebuilding that trust with yourself it's about re getting to know yourself again and again because as you go on that self-healing journey you change and you understand you're always changing every single day and only one day you're gonna realize wow look at me today a few years ago i needed this 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 to cope just to get along with my day i needed work because work can become a strong addiction the need of doing i needed to do all of the ways we have learned to escape ourselves that uncomfortableness because we didn't know another way the self-healing journey is about all of those things and getting to know yourself okay right now i'm gonna be still addicted to this this and this and that's okay i accept myself even though i'm like this even though i'm not perfect even though i make mistakes even though maybe I shouldn't have eaten that because now I feel bad. And it's going to be about readjustment, readjustment, always readjusting and always seeing yourself in the worst, in the, the best at all times, in the neutral, seeing yourself. And through that seeing yourself, saving yourself, allowing yourself to have less pressure on yourself literally less fear to be less afraid of life to be less afraid of yourself because we're usually a lot of that fear subconsciously of what we think we're capable of what we can achieve there's a lot of fear of that and all of that fear that pressure that tension of course it creates pain of course it creates a feeling of, of no, non-safety and non-trust in the life because for so many years you haven't been able you haven't been safe you haven't had the safe environment you haven't had the safe support you didn't know and that's okay but that might be the only reason you came here for to see yourself and through seeing yourself we discover small aspects as which we can call little purposes because i don't like to um really say we have one purpose why we came here which is so limiting it's so limiting okay and sometimes i see that we stick with one thing and that's our purpose and and we have we enslave ourselves in that purpose because then we get trapped and then we create a business over it or something like that then we get trapped and we think oh that's the only way i can't do it any other way that's my purpose i have to do that i have to follow that but there's many purposes your initial purpose is to see yourself maybe to be here maybe and then to experience and then there's the other purposes to learn about that and share about that to learn about that and use it somehow okay so there's many many purposes and as we change and as we change into the different phases of our life into the different phases of being human there will be different purposes and there will be different needs and different understandings coming up and that's okay and along the way 
this is where we can allow ourselves not to have that tension. Maybe at a certain point it was necessary for us to have pain and tension. It was a coping mechanism. It allowed us to save ourselves. It allowed us to survive, most importantly. Never forget about this. It's a survival mode coping mechanism. And then once you have given yourself the opportunity to see a different way, you have cleared the space to invite more of yourself into your reality and to see yourself a little more, then maybe you're going to be presented with the possibilities of how to do it, how to relieve that tension, how to relieve that pain, step by step, through self-healing, through little steps of being there, showing up for yourself, believing in yourself, or not believing in yourself, seeing your own worth or not seeing it, um, seeing what you're capable of or what you're not capable of, seeing what you came here to survive and what you didn't come here to survive. All of those are your aspects and um, you came here for that, for all of it. So enjoy. Enjoy it and see what more you can enjoy and how more you can see yourself and how you more you can be here for yourself and mostly how to heal yourself thank you for being here thank you for listening um and watching until here maybe and the doors for the individual coaching are still open so in the description box there's a way to contact me if you're ready to go deeper in the individual guidance and other than that i'm gonna see you in the next video i love how the topics have been tuning in and i've been getting a lot of downloads and i exactly every day these days i've been getting the messages that i should share here uh, so i'm very grateful for that and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.